Last time on Flood of Light. Could it be? Could you be our guide? The guide who will bring us hope? I don't know. You got to ask Nagi about that one because I, I don't look like the ultimate hope to you. Do I look like ultimate hope? But you got to find either Nagi, or maybe Nagito, <laughs> if you're really trying to get lit. Still light your ass up with some hope for days, bruh. Back to the action. Fish and bread. It's on the bus. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I'm burning my inside my mouth, man. Shit, good. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It's Oreo, t Oreo 4K here. I'm back to the scene. I know you guys are happy to see me. Um, we're going to be going ahead and continue with Flood of Light. So, um, let's continue to unravel the story. Move on with the plot. Get the mystery solved. Figure out who Dr. S is and whoever else. Oh, yeah. I need to get out of here. <laughs> to get the hell out of that. I gotta wait until I complete the main game first. <clears throat> yeah. We're still at 8.4 percent complete for those that missed out. Going to floor seven. Let's see what's good over here, guys. Mm. All right. Wake up the robot, fixing them up. Mechanic status. Welcome to the city control center. As you can see, there is a power outage over the whole city. Fuck you mean power outage? Do you not see that light right there? <laughs> There's very limited amount of light. Okay. Perhaps <laughs> you have to rely on just the limited lights to save us robots. Okay, that makes more sense. According to the Revelation Codec, Guide with human appearance will save us. But Almighty Guide, why are you doing this? Doing what? Even the humans who created us have forgotten us here. Why are you trying so hard to help us? Oh, sorry. I talk too much. Cancel absorb, cancel absorbing light by pressing down. Okay. Okay. You can see all control information in the pause menu. Cool. You got anything to say? Well, no, you don't actually. Pretty sure it would just auto scroll me to wherever the hell it wants to. Save. What's this? A power circuit thing? Locked. All right. I guess the game's done holding my hand now. I have to take it. Oh, wait. Light doesn't carry over in this game. Wait, it does. It does carry over. It's hot, man. So hot. 
Two points. Stop it midway. So, fuck. I take you, and I can just. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Alright, so I think I know what I gotta do here. I gotta... Fuck, it's so damn sensitive. No, I'll get you. I could put you here. There you go. <laughs> In here. I'm all here. Can I drop down? No. This physical activity outside of walking is just not what this person does. She don't do that. She'll do none of that nonsense. No! <laughs> no! Well, before I... Before any of that, I just... I just would like to... Actually... Safe for robots. Almighty God, the disc you just touched can record time. If you ever make a mistake, you have the ability to go back in time. You can choose to restart in the pause menu to return to the location of the disc. Want to try it out? Please choose restart in the pause menu. Alright. Let's see what we got going on here. Don't follow me, that's creepy. Alright, so... Let me get you. How about I just... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now let me get you. Cause you don't be need to, you don't need to be gotten for anything. Let's be honest. I'm gonna light this wick lamp right here. And what the fuck? Oh, so I need to. Um... I need to get this at the bottom. So. Absorb that too. One, two. Now you can open. Now I'll take you back. And now let me put you up here. And we're good. This is already kind of complex to me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just saying. What do you have to say? 
Light can only be released or absorbed completely. Not very convenient, right? If only there was a way to divide the light. Do you see those two lamps over there? Could you use them to divide the light? Want to try it? Use those two lamps to divide the light. What the hell does that mean? Divide the light. Uh, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, but so I'll figure out some way, shape, or form. So did I just fuck up? Yeah, I fucked up. You just restart. I'm gonna just end up doing that a lot, looks like. I think I see what he's talking about now, but... Start. Hmm. Not to edit so much of this out. There we go. Yeah. Can't stop me now. All right. Hey, it's a MacBook. The world we live in. Oh God, My mouth is full. I can't do this right now. April 6, 2016, Drizzle. The world we are living in is full of secrets. I received a secret document along with a conditional custody custody agreement this morning. There was also an analytical document about loot LUTs. Okay, hold on. Before, before any of this crap, I need to... Cause like this is getting on my nerves.
The following pronunciation is brought to you by pronouncenames.com. Oh my god. Loose. 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 The loose. All right. And just one more time. One more time. Loose. Loose. Lose. Lose. Then back to the lose. <sighs> okay. There was also an analytical document about the lose. The signature on the agreement is a couple with the last name Lee. I will follow the agreement tomorrow and take their 10 year old daughter away. This was very cruel, I know, but for the sake of the happiness for most of the people in the city, I had got no choice. Dr. S. Dr. S again, huh? A couple of the last name Lee take away their 10 year old daughter. That must be me. So my last name is Lee. Yeah, I look like an I look like an Asian person, I guess. So that makes sense, definitely. Um All right, let's see what we can unravel from this. You see the document along with the conditional custody agreement this morning. So, a custody agreement, huh? Take away, Dr. S took me away, but for the sake of the happiness of everybody, he had no choice. So, because of, oh, okay. Confidential. All right, cool. Interesting. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, so let's just. No, actually, let me just see if I can just do it a normal way first. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, so let me just do that up there first, so. Hey, come on with this left stick, man, like. All right, so definitely that technique that the robot was telling me about before, I'm gonna need to incorporate that a lot more. So. that freaking bee outside again. And get you out. And I can do that. It won't connect. Great. Go back. If I just hey, there you go. Get that. You get that from you real quick, my brother. Hey. Whee. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now I can boom boom. Got my wick and this light. I saw in the last episode I can just walk on it, so we out here. Mm. All right, let's get a move on. I wish you could run. Oh my god, what's up, brother? 
Almighty God, you actually walked across the light bridge? Humans shouldn't be able to do that. It's just impossible. Well, I'm, I'm more than possible, bitch. I'm more than possible. But why didn't the Revelation Codex record the fact that the guide is not actually a human? I am a human. I'm just kind of pale. Although the Revelation Codex did write that us robots were created by the humans. Maybe this means there are things we just don't need to know, right? A guide with a human exp <laughs> Yo. My mouth is burning right now. A guy with a human appearance will come back after the flood. She activated the eight dormant pedestals to save all forgotten robots. Alright. Is that the only thing we need to know? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Forgive me about the rambling. That over there is the Earth pedestal. After activated, this pedestal can go to the Starlight Dome Hotel. Alright. You know, you robots talk a lot for things that don't dream. Stop following me. Weird ass. Damn. That water line's going all the way down. Five wicks. 75, 48 steps. God damn. <laughs> Yo, my steps are just really bad. <laughs> Maybe I should just redo everything on a hard mode or something. All right. What did we learn today? Hold on, what? So I missed a letter somewhere. Help me! Help me! Hold on. Okay, that's the one I missed. Good, good job, Jalil. You walked right past it, dumbass. <laughs> All right. March 22nd, 2016. Sunny. This must be way before the rain. This now I retrieved the drawing of sunlight monoliths from database. Sunlight monoliths from the database, huh? Okay. And sent to city control committee via email. Sunlight monoliths is a dewatering de device designed based on analysis of the loot's power loots a world that we can loots a world that we learn from mainland scientists a word that we learn from mainland scientists is the power from the planet that gathering inside some people's body born in life form as energy container Let me read read all this, cause what the hell am I reading right now? Like this, what is this story? Just now, I retrieved a drawing of sunlight monoliths from database, and sent to the city control committee via email. Sunlight monoliths is a dewatering device designed based on analysis of the loot's power. Loot's a word that we learned from mainland scientists. It's the power from the planet that gathering inside some people's body, born, life from as an energy container. Being a sea island like Hope, <laughs> Hope Speak Academy, being a sea island like Hope City, Lutz did not exist 10 years ago. When Lutz descended to Hope's city for the first time, we thought naively that it would we thought naively that it was a treasure from God. Bringing plenty of rain to the city where... Bringing plenty of rain to the city where I experienced the drought for a long time. Ten years past, the rainy season is coming. Now we have to be ready for the upcoming disaster. Okay, let me see what I can take in from this. Let's descend it to Hope City. The first time we thought nightly that it was a treasure from God, bringing plenty of rain to the city that we had experienced the drought for a long time. Sunlight monolith is a dewatering device. 
designed based on the loose power. Loose. It's the power from the planet that gather inside some people's bodies, born in form as an energy container. Born in life form as an energy container. So is are you talking about like like me? Like it was I like one of these do I have the power of the loots? Cause I can contain light photons as energy and stuff like that. Luz did not exist 10 years ago. When Luz descended to Hope City, the first time they thought it was a god bringing water to a city in drought, 10 years passed, the rainy season is coming. Now we have to be ready for an upcoming disaster. Huh. Okay, so sunlight monoliths, those are the things that I'm activating. Now, if I go to the elevator, we'll show that I got everything. Twenty point three percent complete. Sunlight monoliths are those things that are dewatering devices. Okay. Dr. S wrote that again. You have to prepare for an upcoming disaster. Ten years ago, the loots didn't exist. Yeah, that's a that's a bit confusing right now. I'm gonna have to get some more documents to um, see what's going on with that. That way, I can probably try to piece together the story a little bit better. And we're 20.3 percent complete. That's cool. for today um part two completed you know um i'm gonna keep the videos coming back to back as much as possible we got dokan battle content coming out definitely gonna be hyped for that and yeah man we out here like let's go let's continue this train going as much as possible now that i got some free time on my hands definitely want to continue doing this so be good stay glad